drive is powered by the force created by the unwinding of a spring. The force is transmitted to several wheels connected to hands and creates movement power, but this does not control the unwinding speed of the spring. This alone would not make a watch. To make a watch move as a watch, several wheels connected to hands are put together and the last wheel must be braked so that the spring will unwind slowly at a regulated speed. To enable that, traditional mechanical watches used a ring-shaped balance wheel called a balance wheel, which moves back and forth. This oscillation movement sets a standard for watch accuracy, and the small collisions between components produced a force to put a break on the unwinding force of the spring. The friction caused by these collisions creates the unique clicking sound that was also the mechanical component most vulnerable to wear and tear. The accuracy was susceptible to outer conditions, such as slanting posture of the watch or impacts from outside. To overcome this vulnerability in mechanical watches, a new mechanism was introduced in the spring drive system. This new mechanism puts a brake on the wheel without causing collisions among components. By using the magnetic force against each other as resistance in order to put an electromagnetic brake on the wheel, this new mechanism could be realized. When a rotor attached with a permanent magnet rotates, it is pulled by magnetism generated by the outer electronic magnet and becomes braked. As this friction-free electronic braking produces little sound, the overall effect is a quiet one. The dream of natural, continuous advancement of hands, just as time itself glides along, has finally been realized by regulating the speed without stopping the rotating motion with this electronic braking mechanism. Spring drive uses the minimal electric power generated by electromagnetic braking and requires no batteries, rechargeable or otherwise. The minimal electric power operates IC and vibrates quartz, which produces highly accurate oscillation. This accurate oscillation is used to regulate the force of electromagnetic braking. The IC compares with the velocity waveform of one complete rotation of the rotor against the accurate waveform of the quartz oscillator and then adjusts the braking force to make the rotation of the rotor exactly match the accurate waveform of the quartz. This mechanism finally achieved the accuracy of quartz watches in spring-operated watches for the first time in the world. <laughs>